This tutorial is for those who have been asking how to create an HTML email using a combination of images and text. I'm going to cover the whole process from start to finish, so for those of you who haven't seen my other tutorials, I'll also be touching on slicing images in Photoshop, cleaning up the HTML code using Dreamweaver, and then either sending the, e the HTML in an email or posting the HTML as a web page. So I'm going to start with this PDF flyer that I'm going to convert to an HTML document. The basic structure is a header graphic at the top, a sidebar graphic at the left, and a body of text. So the first step is to slice up the PDF into images so we can create our HTML. I'll open up the PDF itself in Photoshop, and next I'll select my Slice tool. I've got two options, a Slice and the Slice Select. To do the actual slicing, which is basically cutting up this image into multiple different image files, I'll use the Slice tool. Let me increase the view of my image to make slicing easier and then begin to cut up my image. Starting with the header graphic, you'll see my slice bounded with the brown border and then Photoshop's going to fill the other areas in as I go. Next, I'll slice the left sidebar. And lastly, I'll slice the body block of text. Now I'm going to use just these three slices, but you'll see that Photoshop has also created uh, auto uh, slices from the white space at the top and uh, also on the sides and the bottom of the flyer. Next, I'm going to select Save for Web and Devices. And here I'm going to change my image size down to 800 pixels wide so it will be viewable by most people. And using the hand tool, I can view my image and and I can toggle my slices on and off. Um, next, I will just save the file, making sure to select both HTML and images in the format. Photoshop has saved my slices in an images folder in the My Pictures area, and you'll see I actually have more slices than I need, including the white borders around the flyer images. So we'll clean all those up in a sec. For the next step, I'm going to open up the HTML file in Dreamweaver. Now notice how when Photoshop saves images for web and devices, it saves the HTML file in whichever directory you choose to save to, and then also creates an images folder into which it puts each of the individual images that you export. Looking at the HTML code, the flyer is set up in a table, and by clicking on the graphics in the design view window, I can actually see the referenced graphic uh, and image file in the HTML code. At this point, I want to clean up the HTML by getting rid of the images that I don't want. I'll do this by deleting the sections of the table in the code view. Now, if I just delete the image in the design view, that will leave the table cell and create gaps in the image. Clicking on the image, it'll highlight the appropriate section in the code view. When you make a change in either the design or the code view, hit refresh so that way you can see your changes. I'll continue cleaning up the image by deleting the borders. I'll speed this up a little bit so that you can follow along without taking too much time. And next, I want to resize the table to correspond with the header image. I can see from the code that the table is 800 pixels wide, but if I click on the header image, the width is 656. I'm just going to change that and remove the height and the code altogether. And lastly, I'll delete the text graphic because here's where I actually want my dynamic text to show up. Here I'll just delete the graphic, not the cell, leaving an empty cell so I can start my typing. Before I start, I'm also going to set the vertical alignment to top so the text doesn't center in the middle of the cell. Now note the formatting change on the cell. We're going to correct that in a minute once we get all the text entered. Now I'm going to copy the text from the PDF a bit at a time and format it as I go. That way I can clean up spaces and paragraph breaks. And uh, as I go through it, I'll be able to change the uh, format so each of my section headers I can assign to a, a header type text and uh, my body text I'll keep formatted as paragraph. I'm just going to speed up the editing process for the text so you can get an idea of what it is that uh, I'm going to be doing as I clean up the uh, text and from the flyer. Now 
Now I want to uh, clean up the formatting and spacing, so I'll change the uh, table to enhanced table mode so that I can use the design view to drag the cell border to where I want it. I also don't want my text to lie right on the border of the sidebar graphic, so I'm going to expand the cell width by about 4 pixels for the width of the sidebar. Back in the standard table view, I can see how it all look. And notice I've got a little bit of space between my sidebar graphic and the text. Now at this point, I can basically add whatever text I want, and I can create hyperlinks, I can create links to download documents, I can create uh, whatever sort of formatting or add whatever HTML elements I want. In this area, I'm just strictly using text, so I've got all the flexibility I need to combine text and images in this HTML document. The next thing I'm going to do is make sure my path is correct in the HTML code. Now, most of the questions I get about HTML email is has to do with images not showing up. And nine times out of ten, the, pro the problem is with the, the path for the image file in the code itself. For example, you can see here that the highlighted image is being referenced on the local machine. I can tell that because the source is images and then the images folder and then the name of the file. Now if I enter in the web address of where I want the image to go, I'll go ahead and type that URL in. When I click my live view, the image disappears and doesn't show up. And that's because I haven't actually uploaded that image to a web server yet. I've just saved it on my local drive. So in order for it to show up, I've actually got to upload it to a web server. So let me open up FileZilla and connect to the web server. This is an FTP client. Um, you can use any one you want. FileZilla is my, uh, the one that I usually like to use because it's uh, free. And so I'm just simply going to navigate to the directory online go up here and check the uh, name of my image. It's uh, the 03, the uh, uh, other ones, make sure I have all my image names. And then I will uh, go back over here to FileZilla and pick those specific images, 03, 05, and 07, and copy those up to the internet. Now I've I've sent those up and I can uh, scroll over and uh, find them. And now when I click back over and uh, update my web addresses for the exact path that I've copied those images up to, I can click my live view and I can actually see the images um, being referenced off of the internet. So there you go. Now that I've updated my image path, all of my images are actually showing up. And now my HTML code is actually ready to copy and use in whatever format that I want to. So I'll just highlight the code. I'm going to leave off the, I'm going to highlight only the code in between the body tags because that's the actual HTML code that I'm going to use.